Hey, I'm so sorry to bother you. I wanted to see if this was your Steam account? I made a really bad decision and I mistakenly reported your account for fraud and impersonating another user? I'm so sorry? Uh, oh no, what should I do? Again, I'm so sorry. If you just appeal the report ASAP, they won't permanently ban your account? Just follow the link here. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll just log into my Steam account. Hopefully they haven't banned me yet. What the heck? How's it going, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and welcome to the channel. So there's been a lot going on with Discord recently. All the name fiasco, we won't even get into that right now. But they're having an event for their birthday, their Nitro giveaways. There's all sorts of cool stuff happening, but that also opens up a lot of possibilities for scams. A lot of these scams aren't new. They're not exclusive to the Discord. However, they happen in Discord a lot. So with the amount of times I've seen them happen recently, I thought it'd be a great topic to cover on a video. So sit back, relax, and let's get at it. So our first scam is something that we see more and more every day, especially considering there's an event going on right now for Discord's birthday. And this scam is the free Nitro giveaway. You see it all the time. Someone will invite you to a server or they'll send you a DM saying, hey, congratulations, we're giving you a free month or free year of Nitro. Now in this scam, typically they're trying to either get you to follow a link to a malicious website or scan a QR code. When scanning this QR code, it will actually give the hackers access to your cached Discord token. So obviously that begs the question, what is a Discord token? Well, Discord stores a file on your computer, which basically tells Discord servers that you are who you say you are. So fun fact, Discord is actually effectively just a stripped down web browser called Electron. Uh, it uses JavaScript for the UI, and it works effectively the exact same way as if you actually run Discord directly through your favorite browser. And as many of you know from the Linus Tech Tip videos, when he got hacked, all you really have to do in a lot of cases is steal session tokens, and that's what these hackers are trying to do. As soon as these hackers get your session token, they take over your account, they will change the password, and they will also message all of your friends and all of your servers to try to propagate and get more and more people to download or scan the QR code. So if you're ever gifted Nitro, just make sure that the download link is an official system message, and it's from discord.gift, or discord.com. Now this next scam's been around literally forever. It's just basically a malicious file transfer where somebody tries to get you to download a file. It's been happening since the beginning of computers where somebody tries to social engineer you into downloading a malicious file, which is gonna either try to steal your passwords or give you remote access to the computer. Now in many cases, it'll just be somebody DMing you asking, hey, can you try a game out? Or hey, can you try something else that I've made? Let me know your feedback. Or can you give me a good review? I'll even pay you for it. Very, very typical scam. I was actually lucky enough that Amelia from Discord happened to have an entire thread of this happening directly to her. So let me show you how it works. So first we notice we've got a newer account. It's a girl. So yeah, game designer, all the usual suspects. So it starts off innocently enough. Hi. Sorry to come so suddenly. I saw you online in a server list and decided to send you a message. If you're not busy right now, can I ask you for a little help? And then two little cat emojis. Sure, what's up? So now she says she's a designer and for a recently released game and really needs some help with feedback on what they've done, can you just add five stars to our category so we can get visibility on a better platform? This will really help our team. If you prefer, I can pay you. The payment part is always super sus. Like anytime anybody offers to pay you for something that is super simple, be on guard. Now, of course, Amelia, knowing what's up, says, yeah, no problem. Don't worry about paying me, ha. Already kind of knowing that this is probably a scam. Now we get the uh, broken English. I'm glad you will help me. It's hard for someone to help me with a, another cute emoji. 
Now it's, can I submit my game for you to help me with feedback? I just need to access the launcher and go to the feedback category and add five stars or a comment. And of course, Melee's like, yeah, go for it. Here's your link to some generic game. Here it is, my game. As soon as you finish, tell me. Another flirty emoji, like, I mean, this is all, all super, super normal stuff. So the fun part is that Amelia knows what's going on. It's odd that it's dropping multiple executables, reading data from web browsers, and then sending a random URL. Never a good sign. And then obviously, as soon as the gig is up, the person disappears, they ended up getting banned from our Discord, and yeah, that's how these things work. So yeah, it's super basic, but again, this happens all the time. It's been happening forever, and it will continue to happen as long as people keep downloading stuff without checking it out. So if anyone ever sends you a file or a link that you're suspicious about, you can just go to VirusTotal. VirusTotal.com. And then you can either upload the file or even just insert a link. You can search through there and it will tell you whether or not the link is malicious. So let's just go and check out Talking Sasquatch. There we go. Dot com. And you can see it's going to show up. Everybody's clean. Everybody's happy. And it even goes and shows you where... Um, the URL is finally tracking to if it is a redirect. Super good uh, little trick. So yeah, anytime anything suspicious, look it up on VirusTotal and you'll even have the community. You'll see if other people have scanned it and you know, see if other people were suspicious as well. So this next scam is another one that's been around forever that will be around forever. It's the fake tech support scam. And yeah, it's just the way it sounds. Somebody's going to DM you, instant message you, uh, send you an email, but they're going to pretend to be tech support for whatever platform you're on. Now, after they've gained your trust, they're going to get you to try to download a file, click on a link. It's all the same story all over again. But this time, somebody's talking to you directly. A lot of times, this scam's also paired with something where they're going to say your account was compromised or that maybe they deposited money into an account or something. Again, there's tons and tons of these scams, but it's all basically trying to force you to either click on a website or download a file, you know, all the same stuff. I'm sure you've all seen videos on YouTube of people scamming the scammers, but a lot of times these scammers will actually try to make you believe that they accidentally deposited money into your bank account and that they'll give you some of the money back, but you have to send them gift cards. Never, ever buy anybody a gift card for anything, for any reason, unless it's actually just a gift. So this next one has been getting more and more popular with the popularity of crypto and especially NFTs. So someone will message you and say that they've got a hot tip on a new crypto or they've got a free NFT you can get. There's so many different ways this scam works. But again, it's basically somebody trying to convince you to trust them. And then basically they'll, you know, take advantage as soon as they can. A lot of times people will say they've got a brand new NFT that's just about to go completely to the moon and all you have to do is invest in it. But they'll make you invest in something or they'll convince you to put a credit card in somewhere. Either they'll steal your credentials or they'll basically just make you pay for nothing. So be really, really careful. Do not invest anything in anything you don't know. You know, vet all of your investments. Very, very important. Now, this next one's been gaining more and more traction over the past few years, especially with more and more people working from home or at least wanting to work from home. So the way this one works is that somebody approaches you and says that they have a foolproof scheme or a whole course written up. But basically, they're going to tell you that they have a way for you to make money from home. And typically, it's not just normal money. It's five, 10, 15, $20,000 per month. Now, obviously this is very attractive to most people because that's a lot of money and especially being able to do it from home, like who wouldn't want to do that? So in the best case, basically it's a multi-level marketing scheme where they try to get you in and basically buy products to sell product and you know go up the pyramid that way. Uh, multi-level marketing, all of that stuff, it's, it's all a scheme. Don't fall for it, don't do it. Now, there's also drop shipping, referral links, things like that. Well, that actually does kind of work. Like I have Amazon referral links that whenever I'm sending people a, you know, an item on Amazon, I use a referral link. If they decide to buy it, then I make a couple pennies basically off of that. But they're promising that 
All you have to do is find some AliExpress item and then drop ship it from Amazon and you'll make $20,000 a month. However, the whole thing behind it is that they've got a course. They've got a product that they want you to buy, typically for hundreds of dollars, in order to teach you the intricacies of how this all works. In many cases, they'll even actually send you a course to take and it's gonna outline all of the ways that they recommend you do drop shipping and things like that. But in the end, it's really just not gonna work. It's not that easy. Typically, they just recommend drop shipping, like picking a single item from AliExpress, drop shipping it through um, Amazon, and then posting links on things like Pinterest. You're gonna need tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of clicks and purchases on that product to make any money whatsoever. It's all just a big scam. Now, it can work if you do it right, but again, it, it, the returns that they're promising are not gonna happen. So if you see a get rich quick scheme on any social media, TikTok, whatever, chances are there's no easy money. Getting rich quick uh, just doesn't happen unless you play the lottery and it doesn't happen for many people in that case. Now this next one is one of the sadder types of schemes and this happens everywhere, not just on Discord, not just on social media, it happens everywhere in real life. It's the charity scam. Now, what I hate about charity scams is that it discourages people from actually giving money to, you know, charitable organizations. It makes people not trust anybody that's trying to collect money for a good reason. Now, obviously, there's plenty of good charities out there, and I highly encourage you to seek them out. Just be a little bit wary when picking a charity. Always go through and do research on it. There's so many charities that are either straight up fake, like people will get you to donate money basically directly to them. And there are also charity scams where the company that's supposedly giving money is giving away such a small percentage of money. It's all paying for overhead, paying for all these other things. There's so many loopholes in nonprofits. Just do your research and make sure that whoever you choose to support is actually supporting the cause that you want. Otherwise, you have no idea. So the last scam I'll discuss kind of falls into some of the other categories that we've talked about earlier, but this one seems to happen more often on Discord and it's kind of always the same thing. It's a Steam scam. I'm not sure what it is about Discord, but again, we see this all the time. I actually just banned somebody from the server last week doing this exact same scam. The way this one works is that someone will tell you in DMs that they accidentally reported your Steam account and that they weren't able to contact you through Steam, so they found you on Discord. Now, since so many people have their Steam accounts linked on Discord, it's really easy to try to fool somebody. Now, it's interesting to know also that uh, a lot of these accounts are brand new accounts or either a day or a week old. Most times they'll only share one server with you, so they're not in many servers like most of the people that I know through all the Discord servers, they're in more than one server with me. We have mutuals. Also, a lot of the time they'll have a really girly name and try to be really flirty with you. And again, it's all the same scam. We see it over and over again. And then long story short, it all comes back to getting you to go to a fake link, getting you to log into a fake Steam account, giving them your credentials. And then a lot of times the Steam accounts are linked to PayPal accounts. They'll use that to buy gift cards. It's the same story every time, and that's why you have to be so careful when, you know, anybody approaches you saying that they're tech support, saying that they accidentally reported you on Steam, sending you links to things. You have to be super careful. Now, those are just a few of the Discord scams and just general scams that we've run into. There's so many, so many more, and a lot of them are just iterations of the same scam over and over again with different attack vectors. Now, the more you know about how these scams work, the harder it is for the hacker to actually manipulate you. If you know what they're trying to do to you, chances are you won't let that happen. That's where knowledge is power. And you know, just being well educated, it's so important nowadays. These scams are not going away and they're gonna get more and more complicated. So it's in your best interest to read up on this stuff every once in a while and know how people are trying to scam you. Thanks for watching. I know this was a slightly different style of video. It's not a flipper video, but this is definitely a topic I thought was really interesting. And, you know, having a decent sized Discord, this stuff happens all the time. By the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, link down below for Squatchtopia Hangout. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.